Seymour Skinner greets Superintendent Chalmers at the door with a wide smile. Skinner, what's got into you? It's finally happening, Chief. The snow crab I've been cooking is almost ready. I don't follow. The spell cast by those trick or treaters must have worked. Look at this beautiful snow crab in the oven. I can already smell it. Is that so? It better not burn, Skinner. It's almost done, Chief. And even, uh, even if it does burn, there's still plenty of food left from the Candido's trick. Or treaters didn't eat. Chalmers chuckles. Well, I hope it turns out well for you, Skinner. And happy Halloween. Thank you, Chief. Same to you. My snow crab is burnt. Why did I let this happen? Is it completely my own fault? But this reminds me of that time when Trick... <sighs> Maybe it's their fault again. Well, I won't let this ruin my night. Time to get creative with my dinner options. Yeah, I can't believe I burnt the snow crab again. I need a replacement fast. Looking out the window, Skinner finds the inspiration to replace the burnt snow crab. <laughs> he sees Gongra growing outside his window and thinks it could be a perfect substitute for the dish he burnt. I know what I need to do. Gongura is the perfect substitute for this dish. I just need to climb out the window and get some. He talks about preparing this substitute, hoping it will taste as good as he imagines it. I need to wash it, chop it up, and season it just right. This is going to be a challenge, but I think I can pull it off. He ponders how to prepare this substitute, hoping for a little luck along the way. The scene ends with Skinner determined to make the Gongura work and hoping for a little luck along the way. He climbs out the window, plucks some Gongura leaves, washes them, chops them up, and seasons them before cooking. He hopes it will taste good, but he knows that cooking can be challenging at times. Hey, Skinner, do you smell something? Yeah, I think it's just the smoke alarm. Don't worry, it probably won't take long for the fire department to arrive. I hope you're right. This doesn't look good. Just stay calm and let's make sure everyone else is safe. We need to evacuate the building immediately. This can't be happening. I just moved in last week. It's not a big deal. We'll get through this. Let's go outside and wait for the firefighters to arrive. I guess you're right. At least I got to experience a fire drill in person now. I'm sorry this is happening, Chalmers. I hope everything is okay. It's not so bad, I guess. I never thought I'd experience a fire drill in my lifetime. Just please be safe and make sure everyone else is accounted for. Let's meet outside when it's safe to go back in. Great. Just what I needed today. Thanks for keeping me in the loop, Skinner. Please stay calm, Chalmers. We need to focus on getting everyone out safely right now. Looks like we're the heroes of the day, Skinner. I guess this is one fire we can say we fought together. I don't know how to react to this, Chalmers. All I know is that we need to stay safe and make sure everyone else is accounted for. Wow, Skinner. You really know how to make a girl feel special. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. I'm sorry, Chalmers. I, I don't know what to say. I just hope everything is okay. 
to looks like we got out of there safely, Skinner. Better luck next time. Fire. I appreciate the optimism, Chalmers. But right now, we need to focus on making sure everyone else is safe. Oh, well, I guess you can't win them all. At least you got to experience a fire drill in person. I don't know how to react to this. All I know is that we need to stay safe and make sure everyone else is accounted for. I'm sorry, Chalmers. I don't know what to say. I just hope everything is okay. Well, at least we got out of there safely. Maybe next time you can actually keep me informed instead of standing there like a deer in headlights. I don't know what to say, Chalmers. I just hope everything is okay. What's going on? Why is there a fire in the kitchen? It's just Pape. Don't worry about it. Pape in the kitchen? That doesn't make sense. Can I... Uh, can I see what's going on? No way. It was those trick or treaters who cast a spell making my food burn. You don't want to fall victim to their shenanigans? Are you serious? This is ridiculous. I need to see this for myself. Skinner, I have doubts about this Halloween spell. Something doesn't feel right. Come on, Chalmers. It's just a harmless trick, or treater's spell. Don't make a big deal out of it. I can't shake off this feeling that something isn't right. You know I'm not buying this, Skinner. I don't know what you want me to say. It's just one of those things. Well, I uh, appreciate the effort, Skinner. But I think I'll head out now. Take care. Sorry, Chalmers. I know you didn't come here for a Halloween spell. I'll see you soon. Take care. Skinner.